the most intriguing and mesmerizing place in the entire Middle East with immense wealth is Dubai, a city that in less than 30 years has become a top tourist destination and a magnet that attracts wealthy investors, the super rich, and the most famous celebrities not just to work and play, but also for living. Dubai is a city that has rightfully earned the title of the city of gold, not only because it is common for things to be entirely made of or at least depleted with gold and decorated with precious gems or diamonds, but also because it is a global gold vault with state-of-the-art facilities for jewelry making and refineries. To describe luxury and lavishness in Dubai, we have to invent new words because it is like nothing you will ever see. Stay tuned to get dizzy from the madness of lavishness and excessiveness of Dubai, where for many, a Lamborghini or Ferrari is just another car unless it is depleted with gold and has platinum rims. There is no place on planet Earth that spills infinite prestige and indescribable luxury like the city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, a country that combined with Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Kuwait possesses nearly 30% of all the proven oil and gas reserves on Earth, and they still find more every few years. The royal families of these states possess more personal wealth than the world's top 20 billionaires and rich families combined. They also manage their country's massive national funds that include no less than a few trillion dollars of investments and assets scattered around the globe. Contrary to what you always hear happening in the Missy Arab world, which consists of 22 countries spanning an area of more than 13 million square kilometers in North Africa and West Asia, these four Arab countries are extremely rich and stable emerging markets. And just like everywhere on the planet, more than 95% of the wealth in these countries is in the hands of the top 5%, which are mostly royals, ruling families along with their close circles. The super-rich four Arabian Gulf states are truly incredible places that were mostly mere sand dunes less than 50 years ago. Now they are the jewels of the Arab world. Their population combined is about 52 million people. 80% of their population is also mostly foreign permanent residents and workers from across the globe. In 1971, the city of Dubai was a small place with a population of fewer than 80,000 people. It was unremarkable and quite forgettable. Luxury was limited and society was generally speaking very conservative. Today, Dubai along with the rest of the UAE represents the story of ultimate success. It underwent a transformation that drops jaws and mystifies the minds. It has become a gorgeous green oasis, technologically advanced, an international hub for business activities, a source of inspiration, and the most desired destination for luxury tourism. The UAE owes all of its success to its remarkable seven ruling royal families. Known for their grace and dignity, hard work, and charity, the UAE's royal families have built this brilliant country from zero on the vast sand dunes, in mere decades in a larger region that has seen many major and still ongoing wars. Their union of the seven emirates was the turning point that gave rise to the modern country known today as the UAE. Profits from oil and gas were used to build this magnificent nation, which has recently begun diversifying and moving away from reliance on oil and gas revenues. The jewel of the UAE Dubai was not and is not reliant on oil and gas. It achieved greatness from the wealth of a vision that was based on innovation, progress, and diversification. It was only natural for the self-reliant and innovative Dubai to emerge and become the world's capital for luxury. In fact, the issues of unique luxury, lavishness, safety, entertainment, and tourism were an integral part of Dubai's royal family vision. And it worked magically. They did not have to build a massive industrial complex nor borrow heavily from their oil-rich neighbors, they went solo with a solid plan and remained focused until the vision became a reality. And now they have set another vision that will take Dubai to the highest level of prestige and sustainability. Imaginable. Dubai's effect on neighboring nations that envy them has led to major new investments, particularly in Saudi Arabia, which is currently leading the way with more than 1,000 mega projects worth more than $1.5 trillion, such as the city of Neom. These projects along with Dubai's ambitious plans for the future are already transforming the entire Middle East. 
It has been quite common in the past 15 years to hear quite outlandish and rather outrageous stories about the luxurious tastes of super-rich celebrities, billionaires, and royals, but nothing comes close to the decadent extravagance of the elite in Dubai. Today, not just the rich royals and the richest local emiratus, but also the thousands of millionaires and billionaires who visit or call Dubai home are adopting the motto, if you have it, spend it, and make sure it is decorated with gold with some diamonds. There is an extremely unbelievable obsession with gold and diamonds in Dubai. In fact, in Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, there is an ATM that is entirely made of gold, and it dispenses gold coins and bars. They do live in a different world that we can only dream of. To them, nothing is off limits. The streets are littered with exotic cars. But what really blinds the eyes are the exotic cars that are entirely made from yellow or white gold. It is even quite common for those quite many rich elites to buy for their children and teenage kids top-of-the-line iPhones, Macs, and watches that are made from gold and decorated with real diamonds. In the gated villas, mansions, and castles of the rich elites in Dubai, it is quite common to find chairs, tables, toilets, and you name it, made from gold. Of course, this leads you to wonder, would not that be dangerous? The answer is no. Dubai is the safest place in the world. The crime rate is extremely low, and their police force is powered by artificial intelligence and some exotic cars to catch speeders. The Dubai police car fleet includes cars such as Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, Nissan GTR, Bentley Continental GT, Lexus RCEF, and Ferrari FF. It is all about catching speeders with style. For a wealthy Dubai elite and their kids, meeting and partying with a celebrity is no biggie at all. While most of us can only wish to be lucky enough to click a selfie with our favorite stars for the filthy rich elite in Dubai, it is just a matter of booking their favorite stars for a private meeting. In fact, many celebrities love the deep pockets of Dubai's elites and seek such arrangements. The extravagant lifestyle of the elite class of Dubai has led them to develop some unusual spending habits, which may seem outrageous to most people but for them, it is perfectly normal. Just take a look at the series of photos posted by the Instagram account Rich Kids of Dubai to get a sneak peek into how much the elite in Dubai spend on their gold and diamond encrusted jewelry. A 50 carat diamond Bulgari Serpenti bracelet worth a cool $100,000 and Harry Winston's iconic emerald clustered diamond watch worth $1 million are among some of the fine jewelry flaunted on the social media pages of Dubai's rich elite. Expensive and luxury hotels have long been associated with the portfolios of rich people, and the Dubai elites are no different. One other habit that the rich people in Dubai like to indulge in is enjoying the over-the-top luxuries provided by some of the most expensive and lavish hotels in Dubai. For instance, spending a single night at one of the two underwater rooms at the Atlantis, the palm would cost you over $10,000, and a night at the famous Burj Al Arab can cost a hopping $30,000, which is probably what some of us spend on our annual rent. The elites of Dubai are also very serious fashionistas. The Dubai Mall alone is a testament to the city's never-ending love for couture. The latest collections of Valentino, Gucci, Prada, Chanel, Burberry, and more are known to be first seen on the super-rich in Dubai. Their love for gold doesn't just stop with jewelry, cars, or accessories. Dubai is also well known for its special gold-flavored treats. From the $1,200 cupcakes at the famous Bloomsbury Cupcake Shop to the Golden Phoenix, which features 23 karat, edible gold sheets in addition to gold-dipped strawberries, all served on a gold-plated cake stand. There's plenty of gold-infused food for the elite in Dubai to indulge in. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the notification button to get updates on our latest videos that cover the hard-to-track and elusive luxury, net worth, and business issues associated with our beloved rather secretive celebrities.